Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Stand. The United Stand pre-season tour sponsored by Manscaped. Discover the power of three with Manscaped's unique trimmers. Get the right tools for the job at manscaped.com. Manscaped. Your body will thank you. Firstly, thank you very much, Scotland. Thank you very much, Murrayfield Stadium. What a beautiful weather it was today. No rain. I was expecting rain, but it was sunshine and a lot of warmth. So, firstly, thank you for that. Now, going on to the game, what a game it was. Look, a lot of people I saw at halftime overreact online saying that lack of of chances and lack of chance conversion but you know what it is our second game of this preseason and considering the players that were on the pitch it was actually good football i actually enjoyed that first half obviously i enjoyed the second half but the first half in its own the set of players that came out it was very very good talk about playing a higher line talk about kova a young keeper coming in that could be the next generation. I know we let David De Gea go. Onana is here we go. He's here, he's doing his medical. But look at the next generation of keepers that's coming up in Manchester United. I was so, so happy with the type of football we play. Look, Jadon Sancho in the false nine again. Is this something that Ten Hag is going to try with Jadon Sancho this season? I'm very interested to see. Going forward into the pre-season tour, Manchester United are going to be playing some more difficult teams with Arsenal coming up, Dortmund, Real Madrid. And Marcus Rashford is going to be coming back. A couple of the other starting 11, you know, main players are going to be coming back. Where does Jadon Sancho go once that happens? I'm waiting to see. But today, I actually liked Jadon Sancho the way he was playing. He had a bit more bite in him. He was trying to link up with players. You could see the silkiness in his feet. The quality is obviously there. It's just about him expressing himself on the pitch. Ama Diallo as well. I think at times Manchester United players took a bit too long to release the ball you saw Anthony as well sometimes maybe he could have made the earlier pass but he's taken one or two touches extra obviously we want to see him score loads of goals this season as well and a lot of expectation from him coming into the midfield Mason Mount you know the workhorse that he is grafting and doing well but I was really really impressed with Kubi Mayo this this lad is the next generation he 100% is I do not want to see him go on loan at all there was a conversation what what's going to happen with the youngsters are some of them going to go on loan? Kubi Manyo has to stay in Manchester United and Ten Hag must develop him because there's an abundance of talent. Very aggressive, great with blocks, anticipation, calm under pressure. Just considering him standing in front of Varane and Martinez, the level of maturity he showed on the pitch today was fantastic. Now, Alvaro Fernandes, right? You have Brandon Williams in the, in the Manchester United squad, but he's not playing he's not getting any minutes does this mean the exit for brandon williams in my opinion i think so and again alvaro fernandez done very very well today the high line normally we want to see high line football from ten Hag, but today the high line was diff totally totally different we were compressing the other half the other team in their half constantly and this is great sign i know people will say we didn't score loads of goals and the goal even though the goal was fantastic the one goal we scored you have to look at the positives and the positives are we are playing the style of football we want to play whether that be kova being in there whether that be an upgrade you know with mason mount Jaden sancho coming back a bit sharper ama diallo having a fantastic loan it's all working i will say one thing though anthony should have scored that goal he had a 1v1 one 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 chance, Sancho slipped him in. Maybe some would say Sancho's pass could have been a bit earlier, whatever. I think Sancho's pass was perfect, really well-weighted uh, pass. Anthony kind of hesitated a bit and then tried to chip the keeper but didn't get it. But this is the thing, in pre-season, I'm not going to put too much weight, but you should be burying them chances and we should have been 1-0 up in the first half. Coming into the second half, I mean, welcome back, Johnny Evans. How old is he, 35 years old, if I'm not mistaken? I'm, on a temporary contract, he's come back. Um, Johnny Evans is starting or well not starting but playing ahead of Harry Maguire if you ask me this is the absolute blatant and most obvious sign that Harry Maguire must leave Manchester United and will be leaving Manchester United. There's no way to say that he's injured. There's no reports of him being injured. There's nothing at all. Has he had a fallout with Ten Hag? I don't know. This is all, again, my, this is just my opinion. I think Ten Hag is pushing him out, brought in Johnny, uh, Johnny Evans, and now Johnny Evans is playing minutes. Will Fish is playing minutes. He's had a decent loan as well, you know, Stockport and then another club and now back with preseason tour but he's not played Harry Maguire 
former captain of Manchester United. I think he's going to leave. Fred coming back did OK again. What's going to happen with Fred? Is he going to be moved on? Tellers is obviously left for an astonishing amount of fee, four million. Not on the good side, but the bad side. But how much is Fred going to go for? I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We need the cash for this transfer window. Hugo, sharper, great run forward. I did expect him to maybe get a goal, but, you know, overall, his work ethic was there. He was trying very hard. But let's talk about that goal. And before I come to Donny van der Beek, I must speak on this player, Dan Gore. He's the truth. Nothing but the truth. I've watched this kid last season in the academies, and he, this is his forte. This is what he does, finding players from deep without looking crossing the ball from a throw-in. What a fantastic player he is. And he's so good with having opposition players around him and not panicking, just staying calm. The throwing from Gerardo comes in and he literally doesn't even look and just swings the ball right into the box. A perfectly, perfectly crossed ball on the, on the volley. And Donny van der Beek, let's talk about him. Managed to get a beautiful interview with Donny van der Beek. Make sure you go and check it out on the United Stand channel as well. Look, Donny, an absolutely awful, awful knee injury. He was in tears. I remember when I saw him get that injury, I was actually pitch side, I think row one or two, and he was in tears, absolute tears. And he's done fantastically well to come back. Players from such injuries, they don't come back well sometimes. And Donny has done amazing to come back sharp, strong. And when I did the interview with Donny, in all honesty, you could see in it, in, in it, you could see it in his eyes, if I can get my words out, you could see it in his eyes, what it meant for him to come back on a personal level, not just playing for Manchester United, but as an athlete, as a footballer. It almost felt like he's in love with the game. He, he really wants to shine through and, and show the world that the quality that he possesses. Look, Ten Hag has worked with him before. He knows the type of player Donny van der Beek is. I think... I think personally, Donny van der Beek will stay for squad depth. But the other, some of the other people, um, journalists were asking him as well, and we asked him as well, you know, his future. It seemed like he's open for a move and hinting at a move, and maybe something like that is going on in the background. But I think I'm interested to see how he performs in the preseason. That goal was absolutely top, top class. You can't deny that, you know, from him. And if he can add something to this Man United squad, we need players, by the way. I mean, we're shopping for Amrabat, hoping we can sell some players and get Amrabat in, Sofian Amrabat. If Donny van der Beek can come in and actually be of an impact, hey, all will be forgotten. All the negative stuff and all the injuries and everything, all the minutes lost will be forgotten because it's now going towards the future. Overall, I'm just very happy with Manchester United. I think we're going in the right direction. Onana's here, so it's going to be an exciting time to see how he performs now coming in and who Manchester United go and get. I, I think now, in the next few games, I'm interested to see how Bruno Fernandes comes in with Mason Mount. I really want to see how Marcus Rashford comes in. Malasia, I think he's had a little bit of injury concern, so hoping he gets fit soon. But... Uh, even Hansen, that's another player as well. Young player doing so, so well. A lot of these boys are going to go on loan, let's be very honest, or are going to go back to the academy and might not see first-team football. But what's very rejuvenating to say is they have real quality. Real, real quality. And Leon, they were through on goal a few times. Lacazette was causing us problems all game. And it was so nice to see that Manchester United players were able to stay calm, under pressure, they were able to constantly create chances. I'm hearing there might be something about Ahmad Diallo maybe moving or, you know, staying, Tanag is deciding, but in my opinion, and I think I speak for many fans, the, the decision has already been made. Ahmad Diallo must stay by hook or by crook. Any means necessary, Ahmad Diallo cannot leave Manchester United at all point-blank period, because what he brings to the table, what he brings to this team is desperately needed. You could see, you know, a few times he lost the ball, a few times you could say, you know, he could, he could pass the ball a bit earlier, but he's a threat, and that's where we want, constant threat on goal. Look, it's been lovely here in Murrayfield Stadium, beautiful weather. I think, I think it's me. I brought the weather with me. I brought the sun with me. But uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the United Stand, comment down below what you thought on the game as well, and go and check out the Donny interview on United Stand as well. Make sure to follow United Stand on Twitter and all other social media platforms for the exclusive preseason tour content. Thank you, guys.